Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we are going to be going over the two samplers in Ableton Live. There are two. One is called Simpler, which is a simple sampler, a basic sampler uh, with not a whole lot of uh, bells and whistles, but still very useful. And the other one is called Sampler, which is far more advanced. It has like this cool loop crossover type of thing going on with it, which I'll, I'll get into. So let's hop to it. Sampling is very important. So let's just uh, drop in sampler, or sorry, simpler. So this is simpler. We're going to start with that, and uh, we'll hit notes, and uh, nothing's coming up because there's no sample in the, there's no sample in there. Uh, it's receiving MIDI. MIDI is going into it, but there's nothing in there. So let's pick something, and I'll go samples, this one. Yeah, C3. So I'll just drag and drop that into the sampler. So now, Right, so I'm playing a one-shot sample, and it's just like synthesizers, or it's just like wavetable, it's just like analog, where you have the sample that is then fed into the uh, filter here. And that's all well and good. You know, and there's other stuff too, like the, uh, the ADSR, same thing for the amplifier. And we are using classic mode, which, is like I'll press the button and if I press it very quickly the whole sample won't play but if I press and hold it the whole sample will play right we can uh, we can adjust this by using the release or whatever but let's go to a one shot one shot is very useful for something we're going to cover in the next video uh, which is drum rack and this is no matter how like how long you hold the note, it'll play the whole note. So this is useful for uh, percussion elements, uh, toms, things like that. Anything that you need the full thing to, to, to play. It's the one-shot mode. There you go. Slice we're going to get into that is for like drums and stuff like that. Um, it's a new feature. They've really ramped up simpler. But uh, yeah, so we're going to leave it on uh, classic. And just... Basic, basic sampling here. I want to go over quickly a concept in sampler or simpler that you can kind of use. And I want you to do this. So what we have is we have the uh, sample start position here, just like a typical sampler. This is where the sample will start. Very useful. So if you have something with a little bit of silence at the beginning, we can, uh, you know, get rid of that it'll start at the appropriate time depending on the sample material you're using but I'm gonna do something cool what I'm gonna do is I'm going to loop right so we're looping something so what can we do with this well what we can do is we can make an oscillator out of this a basic oscillator if we make the loop short enough and we have the duty cycle like so right and we'll just zoom in by dragging down we'll get it right to that cross over there to see what it sounds like and then right to there maybe all right so that part is just playing over and over again so it's essentially an oscillator now and this is something that i like to do it's called micro sampling we can do stuff with the ADSR. Uh, it's not visual. Is it visual? Yeah, we can make it. No, we can't make it visual. It's not visual in this uh, particular instance, but we can do stuff like that. It's uh, super fun. And I reset that uh, sustain to uh, the default by double clicking. That's a new feature. All right, so we can just do all sorts of things with that. Quick little tip is you can right click and then crop sample, and then there it is. We have that one shot, or not that one shot, that single cycle um, oscillator in there of a bass that we really like, and you can actually just take little snippets maybe of your favorite tracks, I won't tell anyone, and uh, just kind of employ them in here. Then you get to the little save icon, and you can save it, and you have it forever, it's fun. So let's uh, take a couple steps back. What we can do is we can actually, so if we have a MIDI clip selected with nothing in it, 
and we uh, have the MIDI down here selected, we can actually drag, let's just get another one. Right. That's okay. I'll just uh, drag that down here. So what it'll do is it'll automatically create a simpler, automatically, if we drag in a sample. And we can do crazy stuff like that. Let's convert this to sampler. How you do that? You right click at the top and then you go simpler to sampler. And uh, the sampler is a little bit more advanced. You have uh, greater pitch control, you have FM, you have uh, a whole bunch more envelopes, deeper modulation, and some crazy stuff with MIDI, and uh, different zones, which we'll get into. Sampler is, if you need it, far more um, robust. So one thing I want to uh, kind of go over that's really important. So say you have um, something that, oh, F sharp. All right, so this sample is uh, F sharp. And I dragged it in there. It made a simpler, which is cool. But I'm going to go sampler, and I'm going to zoom in and select the play position. And what it's doing is it's giving me grief. It's not snap. It's snapping. So I'll just turn off snapping. Right. We'll get into this deeper um, as we go along here. So we have that, and uh, whatever. I'll just shorten that up. So we have that. And it's actually, the sample is F sharp, but the root key, it thinks, is C3. So we just have to simply change the root key by dragging it down. And it makes sense uh, musically. So I want to briefly go over, so you know how you, like, you looped um, in uh, Simpler, the single cycle? Let's uh, let's loop this. So the sustain mode, I want it to kind of do that. This is the the loop section. And I'll just kind of have it like this, and uh, let's listen to that. Right. So it it plays, starts here, goes to the end, and then just plays this part right here. But if we do this, it'll kind of go there, play, move back, and go back and forth. And it's and it's clicking which isn't pleasant but you know we can play around that for hours we can do something cool like crossfade so this is like a super uh, not complex but uh, advanced right and then you have like you know sampling um not to the extreme but like you know sampling that makes a bit more sense and is a lot more robust and has a bit more freedom in it. All right, so you got like old school rave going on there. So that is the uh, basic, basic sampling using Simpler and Sampler. And uh, yeah, you can go from Sampler to Simpler again, and then it's in multi-sample mode. And I just confused you but that's okay. We're going to get we're going to get there. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you learned stuff. Take care and have a good one.